What's going on, everybody? Mike O back. Got a mail day recap for you. Got a few packages in. Uh, three different things here. One is a trade. One is an eBay purchase. And the other is a 50-50 slash care package sort of uh, package. So let's jump into them. First up, got a trade. Uh, went ahead and during my for sale video, which I usually do not do many trades, but did agree to one. A trade at my Matt Harvey uh, PSA DNA certified 2016 Tops Auto. Uh, got this Dwight Gooden, Allen and Ginter, so that's beautiful for the collection. Uh, been trying to get this card signed for a while. I was actually supposed to meet Gooden over at the Trenton Thunder game. Uh, it was a month or two ago, but he canceled just a few hours before the event. I was ready to walk out of the house. Had uh, two different Ginters that I was going to try and at least get one of them signed. So definitely happy to add this to the collection. Obviously, this guy had amazing talent. If you uh, grew up in the late 80s, early 90s, you certainly remember him. Uh, unfortunately, you know, drug... Uh, issues and stuff like that kind of stepped in his way of being a truly great pitcher overall but still had a lot of uh, a lot of amazing accomplishments even throwing a no-hitter late in his career so very nice one for the Ginter collection there part of that deal was this Ryan Braun from uh, 2012 what's in a name so it's a pretty cool one there obviously Braun stuff's uh, pretty cheap now uh, Braun you know with the whole steroid thing kind of took a hit in the hobby uh, and then he threw in a few extras here. A Cole Irvin, uh, Phillies prospect card, signed nicely in blue. Love those Bowman cards. And Jose Tavares, Lakewood Blue Claws, Phillies uh, single A team on the Heritage. Love the minor league Heritage cards. Never really uh, open too much of that stuff, but love uh, buying some singles and getting them signed when I can. And uh, John Hernandez, who I don't really know much about. Um, not sure if he's still in the system or not, but again, very cool. Always love having Phillies, uh, collections, uh, Phillies additions to the collection. So, uh, thank you, Kip, for that. Uh, definitely appreciate that deal. Um, again, guys, I'm always open to trade, but I definitely lean, but like when I do a for sale video, I just want to get the stuff out and I'm just trying to, you know, get some money in that I use to purchase more stuff. Uh, here's a few more purchases I have here. Uh, PSA DNA. Got a Freddie Freeman top 60 auto, so that's a pretty cool one there. And a Alex Gordon, which I didn't have any of his autos. And Gypsy Queen is obviously really nice. Gordon's one of those guys. He's definitely a really good player. Not a superstar, but uh, a member of those really great Royals teams. A world champion. A guy I always liked. And one of those guys who was a really high prospect and then kind of fell off. Looked like he wasn't going to make it. And then, you know, kind of stuck with it. And, uh, you know, had himself some really good seasons. So that's a cool one for the collection there. And then the third thing is a little package that came in from Jason Torres. We did like a 50-50 thing in spring training. So some of this stuff are things that he got signed for me through that. And some of it are just extras he sent my way. Really nice guy. So he sent a little note, which I found funny. Hey, Mike, hope you enjoy these for the collection. Sorry, no Cody Ashies. Little inside joke between us. Or a Panini unlicensed sticker autos this time. Jason Torres. Jason's a great guy. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of Panini products. Um, I don't like the baseball products that aren't licensed. I hate sticker autographs. So that's where that comes from. And Cody Ashy, um, we're joking because I have this 8x10 uh, custom I made years and years ago. You know, I had made a few customs, but I got that printed, and I tried getting it signed at the ALS event a few times. Never could get it done. Tried in, when he was down in AAA. I tried sending it TTM with a cash don or a check donation, and then uh, Jason tried this spring for me and just can't get him, and he's been pretty awful, uh, Cody Ashy, unfortunately. But here's what uh, Jason sent me. I had sent him some Mark Davis cards. He said he should be able to get done. And uh, this is a cool one here, the 1990 Leaf. I think this is still a set that kind of gets overlooked and forgotten a little bit, but to me it's one of the all-time classics. Uh, really like this product. Definitely an amazing uh, Frank Thomas auto in there, so cool autograph there. 91 Fleer, which is definitely not one of the prettiest products of all time, but it's awesome for autographs. 
the blue autos just always pop. So it's one of those junk wax products that you can get a whole set for like two or three bucks, and you can find a way to make use out of them with the autos. And this is really cool. This is awesome for the Phillies collection. Mark Davis, uh, Phillies auto in the new uniform. So he was on the 93 team for a while. So definitely happy to get that. Very cool. He came up with the Phils and then uh, was with them later in his career. So that's definitely a nice one there. Kind of one of those sort of semi-oddball Phillies autos that I like to pick up. And here's another one. Uh, this is on the, what year is this? I forget, 82. Um, yeah, I should have known 82. Uh, but got the Mark Davis auto. Be cool to get Bob Dernier. Was always a huge Dernier fan growing up, so that'd be really nice. Here's a Mark Reynolds on 2017 tops. I don't think I sent this one uh, your way, so I'm guessing this is an extra. Very cool. Love the tops base. I don't think I had any Mark Reynolds stuff at all, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Reynolds is one of those guys that, you know, you look at his numbers, you know, he's had a lot of home runs in his career. He's one of those big, powerful guys. Not a great player, but that's cool. This is freaking awesome. 2016 Ginter, Trevor Story. Really nice. Story's fallen off a bit this year, and his stuff has gotten cheaper, but that that's amazing for the collection. Um, you know, I'd probably consider getting that one slab, too. Um, if for nothing else, you'll remember that amazing start he had last year. So that that's cool. Thank you so much for that, Jason. And this is awesome, too. Love this. The Luis Gonzalez. Been trying to get him. I think I sent a few things off to him, TTM, in the last few years, and he hasn't had any returns uh, recently. Used to be a really good signer. And uh, I think I got him on an older Ginter, but he was in, like, a Dodgers uniform or something weird. But the Diamondbacks card is cool. Uh, Gonzalez had himself a really good career. And, of course, uh, an epic moment in the World Series with that walk-off hit. Um, and I love collecting stuff like that. Guys who are, like, World Series and Super Bowl uh, heroes. Because um, those are the moments you watch the sport for. So, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of these additions to the collection. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.